I'm Jessie Rose, and today I'm gonna to talk about what you should know before you move to Oregon. I'll talk a little bit about the different areas of the state, but if there's a particular area that you wanna deeper dive into, check my channel. I might have a video on that area or comment below and I'll make a video to address your question. I post videos monthly, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. So number one is taxes. Probably heard that there's no sales tax in Oregon, which is great. But anyone will tell you, or anyone that pays taxes, will tell you that we are on the higher side for taxes, top four in the nation in income tax. So personal income taxes are at 9%, and property taxes are tricky because they can be on the higher end, but you can also get grandfathered in, and they can only legally raise it so much every year. So you wanna look at the difference. There can be a vast difference between you and your next door neighbor for similar homes. Because property taxes are legally limited, there are these special districts that can be created and voted in and then it, that adds to your taxes because you have to pay this tax in addition to the regular taxes that you would pay anywhere else. So something to keep in mind if that's something you're looking at. If you want to move to Oregon, you might want to talk with your realtor a little bit about what the taxes would be for your property. The second thing that I think is super important to know about Oregon is the urban growth boundary. So this is incredibly unique. Oregon is the only state to have urban growth boundaries around every city and most towns. What that means is you can't develop past there. You have to have 160 acres in most of the state if you're outside of the urban growth boundary in order to build a home on it. There's some exceptions to that. But overall, one of the positive things about the urban growth boundary is when when you leave Portland or any other city in Oregon, there's suddenly just wilderness and forest and preserved area. Also, when you're out in the country, you are really in the country. In some other areas, the country really just means there's a dollar general every half hour or so. This is vast wilderness and empty farmland. So I think it's awesome. I love our urban growth boundary. The downside of that is that it does raise property values a little bit. So it can be a little more expensive to move here because of the urban growth boundary and keeping people in a smaller area, but it's still relatively for the West Coast, it's still pretty affordable. Speaking of the coast, this is another very unique thing that I love about Oregon. The coast is public property. So there's no big wall of condos blocking your view as you drive on 101, the famous highway. You can see these beautiful vistas and there's almost always going to be public access to the beach because that's a public owned area. Due to some crafty legislation, a couple different times in Oregon's history and you can look that up if you're interested, but it's very unique to have a, a wide open beach like that. Now one of the main reasons that people move here is because of the amazing amazing and diverse landscape. There's mountains, rivers, the ocean, canyons, valleys, there's wine country and farmlands. I think Oregon's probably the only place that if you wanted to ski and surf in the same day, you could do that here. Also, look up Hood to Coast. It's an amazing relay race that goes from Mount Hood to the coast. I did do a separate video about the coast, so check out my channel if you want to get more in-depth discussion about the Oregon coast. Another unique part of Oregon that I love is the Columbia River Gorge scenic area. All I can say is wow. It's absolutely breathtaking. As you leave Portland on the interstate, you start to drive east and it's just the most beautiful view. There's waterfalls and all sorts of things along the way to stop and take pictures of. So getting into culture, there's kind of a divide in Oregon as there is in a lot of places in our country right now, but there's what we call the valley in Oregon and that's the I-5 corridor, the Interstate 5 corridor where most of the urban areas and bigger cities or towns in Oregon are found along there. Portland, Salem, Eugene. Of course everyone has seen Portlandia and so those areas are more associated with that sort of thing, but I'm not sure that tells the whole story of Oregon. So there's the other side of the mountains and that's 
east of the Cascades, Eastern Oregon is a lot more rural. So they have a different lifestyle. A lot of times, most of the time, agriculturally based and a lot of tourism. They do different things for fun. They vote differently. So it's a totally different part of Oregon and not like what you've seen on TV. There's also the coast, which I've mentioned. And while it tends to be agriculturally based as well, and there's a lot of people who've been there for generations, there's also been an influx of an artistic community. I think that's like influenced by the beautiful landscape, the fresh air, the peaceful atmosphere at the coast. I think that has brought a lot of artistic communities together in some of the little towns along the Oregon coast. So all in all, no matter what your interests might be or where you fall politically, you are likely to find your tribe here in Oregon. In most of the entire state of Oregon, there's a great food culture, a lot of farm to table, fresh ingredients, creative, delicious food. Wine country just outside of Portland in the Menville area has tons of amazing award-winning restaurants and great wineries as well. Most every town has a farmer's market. So one of my favorite things about Oregon is just about wherever you are, the produce is amazing. Some people may be interested in nightlife. So even if you're moving to Portland, our biggest city, I have to say the state has so many stringent rules around alcohol and everything tends to close pretty early. So you're not gonna find some rowdy places to go out dancing very much in Oregon. But if you wanna hang out in a booth in a beanie and drink a craft beer at a brewery and have amazing food, then Oregon's your place. Total Real Estate Group is a boutique brokerage with offices in Portland, Bend, Albany, and The Gorge. So no matter where you wanna live in Oregon, we can help you out. I'm Jesse Rose. I'm an attorney and a licensed Oregon realtor. Buying or selling real estate is a legal transaction. So having someone with legal skills and knowledge on your side is a benefit. My channel explores all of the awesome areas of Oregon. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give me a call so we can go look at some properties.